back to the channel. We're going to make one of my favorite bowls of all today. My name's Tina, also known as Little T. First, you're going to grab three medium potatoes, or if you're really hungry, grab four. You're going to wash them off and poke them with a knife, and then pop them into the microwave and cook them for about four minutes. You'll want them to be soft, but not completely mushy when they come out. Grab your potatoes, you can let them cool off if you're not too hungry, and then slice them into fries. You can see it's really hot. Get your air fryer basket, you can spray it with a little bit of cooking spray if you'd like, and you're just going to spread the fries out all over the basket. I make my own mix, it's turmeric powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. And just shake that on top of there, also some black pepper. Then you're going to take your tray of sort of cooked potatoes, put them in your air fryer, and let them cook for 18 to 22 minutes. Depending on the temperature of your air fryer, I would put it around 400 to 450 degrees if you have a temperature setting. While your potatoes are in the air fryer, you're going to wash and chop the veggies for your salad. I have some romaine, carrots, grape tomatoes, cucumber, and a sweet pepper. Get them all together and find yourself a bowl that has a sealable lid and put the lid on and you're going to give it a really good shake. Snap that lid on and here we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Get it all mixed up. And there you have a delicious salad with enough for at least one really big serving and probably enough for two. Now we're gonna make a really quick oil-free dressing using Dijon mustard, rice wine vinegar, maple syrup, and a couple of spices, onion powder and basil. Two tablespoons of the rice wine vinegar, a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. You can vary the amounts to suit your taste. I'm just going to put a shake of some dried basil and a shake of some onion powder. Again, we're going to put the lid on just like we did for the salad ingredients and we're going to give it a really good shake to mix it up. There we go. And that's more than enough for this. Get yourself a big bowl. I like these pasta bowls. They hold a lot and they're not too deep. Once your air fried potatoes are done, you're just going to put them into your bowl. And you can put whatever you like on top of yours. I just decided to use the same dressing I was putting on my salad to drizzle it on top of my potatoes. But other times I'll use barbecue sauce or just straight mustard, sometimes ketchup. Barbecue is probably my favorite. Time to dig in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.